A passionate health care debate takes center stage across our area tonight. We start in Madison, where nearly 2,000 people gather to rally against the president's plan. NBC 15's Chris Woodard has the story. Long before you even step inside the front door at the Marriott Conference Center, this sign is an illustration of how popular this event is and how polarizing this debate has come. Second and third parking lots are full and thousands of people came here to voice their opinions. This couple drove an hour and a half from East Troy, Wisconsin, just to be here. We felt we needed more information to better understand the health care situation. Inside, nearly 2,000 people gathered. Most saying they're concerned, angry, and frustrated. Are we even disputing or debating the H.R. 32? It is unconstitutional. But how can a patient make judgments when the hospitals don't even know what things cost because of the cost-shifting game that's gone on? How are we getting to transparency? This town hall meeting was put on by Americans for Prosperity Foundation, a nationwide group that says they believe in reducing the size and scope of government. They obviously don't exactly see eye to eye with legislators pushing health care reform that includes a public option or government run insurance. And decide if you want to be in control of your health care and your family's health care or the government. An opposing progressive group, One Wisconsin Now, released a statement of their own calling the forum a rally for failure. They say Americans for Prosperity is a foundation aimed at defeating the Democratic president at any cost. But those who showed up say they just have real worries. I, I don't know that it's anger versus justified concern. These people are from every walk of life that I could see just looking at the crowd. And they're just uh, concerned about where this country is going. And I think they have a right to be. For the overwhelming majority of those here tonight, their opinion is obvious. They're against the health care reform plan as it stands that's making its way through the House. They're just hoping their voice is heard before it's too late. In Madison, Chris Woodard, NBC 15 News. Organizers say they invited Democratic U.S. Representative Tammy Baldwin to speak on their panel and were disappointed she didn't join them.